Hi guys, today's video is about straight line method of depreciation and uh, you guys should know that straight line method, why is it called straight line method? Because every year depreciation expense stays the same. So there is equal depreciation expense charged every year against the income, against the profits. So basically um, straight line method is also called equal installment method and uh, the, there are two very very important formulas basically for um, straight line method number one is uh, cost minus scrap value so scrap value is the remaining value of the asset when you use it completely so when you use it completely you're left with only the parts of the asset so that is basically score sold at a very low value that is scrap value scrap value is also called residual value um, and you divide it divide this by the life of the asset so life of the asset is also called useful life and usually the life is given in the number of years so that is one uh, one very important formula the other one is that you do uh, cost multiplied by percentage so whatever percentage is given in the question you directly multiply cost with the percentage so here in this uh, case one they're saying a business purchased a motor vehicle for 160,000 which had a scrap value of 10,000 and a life of five years so here I know I need to apply the formula cost minus scrap value divided by useful life so what I'll do here is cost here is 160,000 minus scrap value is 10,000 and I divide this by uh, five so the answer that I get here is 30,000. So that is the depreciation expense for every year. So that I just copy this. So year two depreciation expense, year three depreciation expense, year four depreciation expense and year five depreciation expense. So accumulated depreciation after the first year is 30,000. So accumulated depreciation basically accumulated word means the total depreciation that you keep on charging. So after first year, it's 30,000. After second year, again, it's uh, it's again after second year it's 60,000 and after third year it's 90,000 after fourth year it's 120,000 and after fifth year it's 150,000 that is the accumulated depreciation so you keep keep basically you keep on adding the depreciation expense every year and then uh, what you get here is the, the third thing very important formula for here is net book value is uh, cost minus accumulated depreciation uh, this is a super important formula for CIE cost minus accumulated depreciation so cost in this case was 160,000 accumulated depreciation was 30,000 so you are left with uh, 130,000 after first year net book value after first year is 130,000 net book value after second year is 160,000 minus 60,000 you are left with 100,000 um, net book value after third year is 160,000 minus 90,000 gives you 70,000 net book value after fourth year is basically 160,000 minus 120,000 that is uh, 40,000 and net book value after fifth year is 10,000 so 160,000 minus one uh, minus uh, minus 150,000 gives you 10,000 that is for case one okay so we'll do another case uh, for depreciation that will be uh, when you have to multiply the cost by the percentage so in this case you have been given cost of fixtures and fittings that is 45,000 and then the business provides depreciation by the straight line method so 15% on cost so what you do here is 45,000 multiplied by 15% and the answer will be 6750 so this uh, depreciation expense 6750 is for year 1 6750 is year is for year 2 6750 is for year 3 6750 is for year 4 6750 is for year 5 Accumulated depreciation after first year is 6750. Net book value after first year is 45,000 minus 6750, that is uh, 38,250. Okay, uh, accumulated depreciation after second year will be 13,500. Accumulated depreciation after third third year will be uh, 13,500 plus 6750, that is uh, 20,250. And accumulated depreciation after 
fourth year will be 27,000 accumulated depreciation after fifth year will be 33,750 so net book value after year two will be 31,500 so what you'll do is basically you are subtracting uh, subtracting 13,500 from 45,000 um, accumulate uh, uh, net book value after third year will be 24,750 net book value after fourth year will be 18,000 net book value after fifth year will be 11,250 so you keep on subtracting the accumulated depreciation from the cost to basically reach to the net book value and net book value is very important because it's the estimate of basically our estimate of the value of the asset so uh, whatever at a particular date we'll estimate the value of the asset um, and that's the net book value so basically whatever depreciation you have already charged you subtract that from the cost okay so case case four is uh, an important case here because the policy is coming into play here so in this case you are basically uh, purchasing one asset at a particular date and you are selling one asset at a particular date and in this case this policy is basically a month by month policy month by month policy means that you need to take care of the months that you are using the asset here they are saying depreciation basically uh, if we read the whole question they are saying here a business had a motor vehicle a at the start of the year 1st january 2022 so at the start of 2022 the business had a motor vehicle and its name was motor vehicle a and then uh, it had a cost of 250000 so when they had purchased this motor vehicle they had purchased it for 250000 accumulated depreciation is 30000 which means that in the past whenever uh, whatever depreciation they charged was 30000 so that is what they charged they have already charged so the business purchased motor vehicle b which costed 50000 at 1st july 2022 so uh, now the business sold motor vehicle a on 31st march 2023 the business provides depreciation 20 percent on cost and provides depreciation for each part of the year now here the policy is basically coming into play each part of the year the asset is owned which means that uh, you need to take care of the months here so uh, for the first asset that is of 250,000 you're using so basically there will be depreciation for 2022 and depreciation for 2023 for for the first asset that is motor vehicle a you have been using this so you uh, this asset had the cost of 250,000 and for 2022 you'll use it for the full year in 2023 you are selling this asset but for 2022 so at 31st December 2022 you have been you've used this asset for the full year so you're uh, you'll basically do 250,000 multiplied by 20 percent which is actually the depreciation so you get here 50,000 that is the expense for motor vehicle a for motor vehicle b you have purchased it on 1st july 2022 which means mid-year so from july to december if you count the months those are six months so basically july august september october november december so uh, you need to charge depreciation of six months so here you have cost of 50,000 you multiply it by 20 percent and then you multiply it by six and divide it by 12. so what you get here is uh, basically um 5000 yes 5000 so total depreciation for motor vehicle a and b uh, in year 2022 will be 55000 and then in 2023 how do we depreciate so basically in 2023 you're selling this motor vehicle a which was of 250000 initially so uh, you're selling this motor vehicle a on 31st march 2023 so I, what i'll do here is that i will uh, basically uh, i have used this motor vehicle for three months in 2023 so i'll do 250,000 multiplied by 20 percent multiply by three divide by 12 and the answer that i get here is 12,500. that is depreciation expense for motor vehicle a in 2023 and for motor vehicle b again i'm using the asset motor vehicle b i have uh, for the full year in 2023 so what i'll do here is 50000 multiplied by 20% and now the motor vehicle b will be depreciated by 10000 so 12500 plus 10000 gives me 22500 
that is for uh, 2023 now the policy is changed there th the case is the same so you already had a mo uh, had a motor vehicle which had a cost of 250000 and the depreciation that you had already charged was 30000 now what they are saying here is that uh, a business purchased motor vehicle b which had co which costed 250000 at 1st july 2022 again the same case but now the policy has changed the policy here is Mm, full years depreciation in the year of purchase none in the year of disposal so for motor vehicle a year of disposal is 2023 so for 2022 you'll just do 250,000 multiplied by 20 percent and that will be 50,000 and for motor vehicle b you have uh, although you have purchased motor vehicle b between the year that is first july 2022 but you'll still apply a full years depreciation because the policy says so so policy uh, in the policy you don't need to take care of the months so here you'll do, do here, here you'll do 50,000 multiplied by 20% which will be 10,000 and when you add them both so 50,000 plus 10,000 gives you 60,000 that is the total depreciation here uh, okay so depreciation expense for 2023 so motor vehicle a will not be depreciated because this is the year of disposal for motor vehicle a uh, and uh, motor vehicle b will be depreciated yes so you'll do 50,000 multiplied by 20 percent and that will be 10,000 so total depreciation for 2023 under this policy will be 10,000 uh, for 2023 and 60,000 for 2022 so um hope this helps you uh thank you so much for watching